Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the weekend of the 13th and 14th of May. And this is just a little weekend check-in, okay? I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using tarot decks, cards with meanings on them. And that's what the deck says. So Aquarius, let's see what messages we have for you today. So Aquarius, this is for you, the world. You attained something successfully or something came to completion, but it was for the better. The two of pentacles, although it was for the better, it might've got you a little off balance. Maybe you just don't see the positive in the situation right now. The Seven of Swords got you a little tied up, huh? You just a little tied up inside. You don't like this, what happened? It was successful, but you don't like it. The King of Swords, this is you, Aquarius. Or it could be a Gemini or Libra within your environment, but I say this is you. The Ten of Swords. Something hurt you. It was painful. The moon. Whatever it was that hurt you, I don't think you were seeing things clearly. Maybe you, your vision was a little clouded. You know what I mean? The five of wands, you're having some kind of struggle. It could be struggle within or struggle in your environment conflict really but the six of pentacles giving and receiving you have balance you were a little off balance here but no you got balance and the knight of swords who are you thinking of communicating with maybe you should or maybe good news is on its way to you let's see so the world Something really got you tied up. Whatever happened, whatever, something transpired. It was successful. You attained your goal, okay? But now, you're off balance. You're tied up inside. Or maybe communication that cut like a knife, but no. You, this is you tied up inside. You got the four of swords on top of the world and the eight of swords on top of the world. You got a lot of negative thoughts. You're blocking this, whatever it is that you want to come in, you're blocking it. You got to get out of your head. Something happened and you need to either forgive yourself or forgive the person, okay? 
But the forgiveness is for you in the long run. It's not for nobody else. Don't hold on to no anger. All right? It ain't worth it. All that brings is more anger. More anger. It sounds like I said more anger. <laughs> uh, um, that's the T, you know. Um, the Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords above the world. And something, although you successfully attained something, it kind of messed you up. Emotionally or some way, financially, I don't think so. I think this is emotionally. Two of Pentacles. Two of pentacles, I got the high priestess and I got the hermit. You need to use your, start using your intuition, Aquarius. And you need to go within. Only you have the truth. And you will find that by being by self, with self, within you. Meditate. Learn to meditate. And you need to use your intuition because you do have intuition. Whatever it is, some, whatever that feeling is, is telling you to do, you do it. Okay? The minute you deviate from what self is telling you to do, it's going to be bumpy. You know? The high priestess and the hermit. Or it could, let me put it like that, it could be bumpy. <clears throat> Let's see, the Seven of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles, Domestic Happiness. Did you come into some money? Something you attained something, but something, somehow or the other... Because the Ten of Pentacles could also mean that you inherited something um, or some kind of financial wealth. It could also mean stability, but this is, and domestic love, but this is above the Seven of Swords. Some kind of inheritance. Why is it giving you anxiety and fear, depression? Can't sleep at night. Why? What are you worried about? Could be, you know, you're not, you're not necessarily staying up at night worrying. It could be just the thoughts, you know, racing before you go to sleep. You know, you need to relax your mind. So the Ten of Pentacles, you tied up inside. You need to get out of your head. You need to change these negative thoughts to positive thoughts. If not, but sometimes when you come into some money, it could bring more woes than happiness, you know, because everybody wants some. The nine of pentacles, I'm sorry, the 10 of pentacles and the nine of swords. Go with them. Use your intuition. You can solve all your problems. Just use your intuition. Just trust your judgment. Trust you. Trust you. What would you do? You know? Trust yourself. Get a good head on your shoulders. King of Swords. You got the Ace of Wands and you got the King of Swords again. Woo! You got a new beginning. You got some kind of new project. Yes, you do. That's, a, that's you, Aquarius. You hear me? You're pretty honest and direct. And, you know, sometimes your communication is kind of harsh. But get some kind of new project, new opportunity, a new beginning. Seize it. Don't be stuck in this, in this past here. And it's not necessarily like broken, broken, horrible heartbreak, you know. It could just be like holding on to like, what's the, what's the word? Um, like a grudge, you know, like, or animosity. 
let it go let it go you're gonna start seeing things clearer this you holding on to this you can't see clear remember we got the moon too so let's see we got the the nine of wands and the eight of the eight of cups the nine of wands and the eight of cups on top of the ten of swords. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you keep getting back up. You're very persistent and very courageous. Whatever you're going through is just testing your faith, okay? But you want to withdraw and leave it all behind. That's because you're not seeing things clearly because you haven't dealt with whatever it is that you're holding on to. Okay? So the nine of wands and the eight of cups. Above the ten of swords. Only you have control over that. It's either your past, you're going to hold on to that and bring it to the now. And keep taking it with you wherever you go. Or you're going to go deal with it and leave it back there. Now remember, once you start healing, you're going to start realizing that the past is no longer bad. If I share every moment of my life with you, I have realized that the things that have happened in my past, the things that I held on to for years, the things that brought me down, I have finally realized that that past is no longer bad. That past is no longer bad. That past made me who I am today. We all can achieve this. Things happen. Oh. Wow. The moon, on top of the moon comes the page of pentacles and the hierophant. So you take care of the stuff that we just talked about. You're going to be able to manifest. You're going to be able to reflect. You're going to have financial opportunities. And you're going to have contracts. Or you're going to have some marriage, maybe. Something come towards you. But you got to heal. you got to start healing. The Five of Wands. Top of the five of wands, you got the five of cups. Because, of course, if you got conflict with somebody, how does it make you feel? It makes you feel empty, emotionally empty, drained. So you got the five of cups on top of the five of wands. You don't need to argue because you don't need to feel like that. You know? No. Because you're going to find balance, okay? You're going to find balance. You're going to step back and look at everything and you're going to find balance. So I got the five of cups on top of the five of wands and I got the six of pentacles. So this is just for the time being, okay? You're going to change that because you got the six of pentacles over here. So balance will be restored one way or another. It's going to be restored and you're going to restore it. You're not going to argue. You're going to start seeing, you're going to make a decision, you're going to start compromising. I got the two of swords here on top of the, um, my goodness, you have an argument going on around you. You are just really, you just stubborn. The five of wands, I got the two of um, swords and the five of wands again. You have some kind of decision to come to make. And you, you're struggling with it. This decision, if whatever it is, you got, you got a path, you got to choose, okay? Whatever it is that you choose, it will be good. It will bring you balance. But you got conflict, man. You, and it's within your head. This is inside. Okay? You got a decision to make, but you're struggling with the decision. Come on now. And the Knight of Swords, you waiting for some kind of message? The Knight of Swords. I got the two of wands and the emperor. So. The communication you're waiting on. 
or the messages you're waiting on has you waiting and because you're planning you're planning you're in the process of planning whatever it is you're waiting for the messages to come in you might be going you might be traveling somewhere is that what the conflict is and then the emperor you're respected you're stable you're very focused and there is a change coming there is an ending for you and the beginning of something new and it will bring you happiness i got the death card which is change, which is the ending of the old for the new, the end of a cycle, okay? And the beginning of something new for you. And the three of cups is celebration. You'll be celebrating again. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. I will chat with you soon.